Hey there, light wavers and random passer buyers. Here's a uh, video that kind of kind of goes into a yeah a little problem we've had in Lightwave for a while. Uh, you, if you've worked in Modeler, you may have noticed that you know in symmetry mode you can uh, kind of move things on one side of the screen and on the other side of the screen they will move as well. So it it makes it easy to work on symmetrical objects. Um, unfortunately, when you try to weld points by going through uh, the weld tool here, it screws up. It welds across, and likewise with a uh, weld average. If I can find weld average, weld weld points to average. You know, it welds them to average, but it puts them in the middle, and I don't want that. So you know, in the past, we've had to just kind of undo symmetry, unselect one, then uh, you know, select the other, and then yeah basically repeat the process twice, which is kind of annoying. So, um, actually in Lightwave 11, I think it was, I think it was 11, uh, Lightwave, or New Tech, and now it's the Lightwave group, they added a, um, a new weld tool. It's called Weld 2.0. You can get to it under the Utilities tab, under the additional, where you find all your random plugins. And you can't see it, it's off the screen now, but there's a Weld 2.0, and there you go welds on both sides of the screen and uh, same with uh, weld average so that's pretty nifty and uh, it's a little annoying to use it down there and you might be used to using the keyboard shortcuts so uh, let's edit those to make them all nice and uh, compatible with our workflow I don't know why these are not in here by default but let's add them in there so yeah the edit menu edit the the menus um, let's see now, where are they? In this, I believe they're in detail, so, or construction, so, uh, main menu, detail, I think I put them elsewhere in another thing, so, or was it under construct, reduce, there's weld rings and weld average. I might just put it in there because that makes more sense to me. But uh, detail points. Okay, there we go. So instead of uh, weld and average, let's just do a search for weld. And look, there's weld 2.0. So let's add that to our uh, menu here. And you can slide these around so they are. Uh, where you want them to be. And if you want, you can just remove the old ones. Um, and that does it for the menu. You can see they're now in the menu, Weld 2.0, Weld Average 2.0. For the keyboard shortcuts, we'll do something similar. Edit, Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. You can see that was something F9, Control F9. Let's try that. I don't think it was Control F9. Alt F9? Yep, Alt F9 opens up the configure keys. Okay, to configure the keys, easy thing to do is just hit the keyboard shortcut you want something to be. In this case, Control W. Looks like I've already assigned it. Um, and then go over to search to find the command, and then hit assign, and it will assign it. Since it's already been assigned, you don't get to see it again. So there we go. That is Weld 2.0 and Weld Average 2.0. It's the weld that works with Symmetry on. So um, subscribe to this uh, channel if you would like to get more updates like this. I try to update the channel once a week with a new tip or a technique or maybe just an experiment that I'm working on. And also check out my videos at liberty3d.com. I have some full-length commercial videos over there. And there's a ton of other great videos from other artists and new stuff coming out a lot so uh and some great new stuff coming up soon so thanks for watching and uh check out my other videos i'll talk to you all later